Hello, hello, and welcome to what I'm going to be calling Febradoki. <laughs> what is Febradoki? Well, it is, well, well, to give it, you exactly what Febradoki is, it's this. This is Febradoki. That's right, for the month of February, it may go into March, I don't know how long this is going to take, I'll be playing Doki Doki Literature Club again for like the fourth time if I've ever played it. So, why this game? Because I just was in a mood to kind of play it. And what do I mean by fourth time? Well, I played it by myself when I first got my computer. Of course, I played everything by myself. But without any record or anything, then I played it again uh, to make video stuff of it when I was in Korea. I mean, I played both times in Korea. Third time, I played when I got the side stories. Uh, that was the whole thing. And now this time, Febradoki. I did consider playing this for September. I might play it for September because Suicide Awareness Month and everything because, <coughs> spoilers. But I didn't want to, I didn't know when to do that or anything for, but uh, yes, I'm in the mood to play this game and everything like that. But there's also a turn of the reason, and that is uh, one, to say, you know, Vanabelle and keep getting harassed for something in real life for playing the Monica character. And it's just... I feel terribly sad about that, and hang on, I gotta exit out of the cheery go lucky music for the moment. The whole thing with um, let me make this full with Anna Mellon, Getting back to the other thing, I mean, again, people, she's playing a character, and the fact that you kind of there's some people that went after her in real life because she, I guess from the video, I can kind of pick up people going after her the fact she had a boyfriend and they couldn't separate the character from the person. It's just kind of like sad. But considering it's a game of mental health and everything, people, if you have to realize other people are hurting and everything, you don't need to be doing that in real life. Don't assault people because they're playing a character and they're thinking, you belong to them or anything like that. That's not a healthy behavior. It's not a good behavior. I mean, to be blunt, the whole game is kind of based on an idea of unhealthy behaviors and they have mental issues like Monica. And you, it's not a, celebrated as a good thing, it's celebrated as a bad thing. So, it, and it's a sad thing because I know you're lonely and everything, but you can't just go after people and things like that. And you've seemingly made her very afraid, very sad, that she has to say goodbye to a character that no longer makes her feel safe and comfortable when it was just supposed to be a fun thing for everyone. I'm not saying, oh, you ruined the fun for everyone. No, I'm concerned about these people because of the just connection to it and everything. It's sad. So that is Phantom Ellen. We're sorry, you know, that this happened to you and I pray the best for you and everything like that. If you ever do choose to bring back Monica, let it be on your time and if you want to and if you're comfortable to do it. Don't let it be because anyone's forcing you to, fans forcing you, etc. like that. But don't feel that you have to either because people, please seek out help. It's not just a thing, okay? So I know I'm going to talk about how this game actually affected me and changed my life, but it's not anything like that, okay? Um, so, yeah. Now, let's get back to the happy-go-lucky stuff. I say that uh, considering what this game's about. Alright, now we're back to this! <laughs> the happy-go-lucky game! <laughs> okay, I'll talk about stuff that happens, you know, when the game happens and everything. How did this game change me? That's one thing I'll discuss. But unintentionally, one way this game changed me... See this book? I don't recall if it's the side stories. I think it's the side stories? Maybe? It might be the actual game? But Yuri making the comment that, oh yeah, it's part of my tabletop game that I play and everything, literally caused me to go down the rabbit hole to discover what tabletop games there are out there. I know there's Dungeons and Dragons, let me go look at that. Just out of curiosity to see, okay, what is that stuff even about? I got I was looking up stuff from Critical Role and a bunch of other things about Dungeons and Dragons, looking up a whole bunch of other things about tabletop games and fantasy things, and then that makes me think, hmm, maybe I can start making my own fantasy book because I'm trying to write and everything. Then I got an idea when I was in Texas to write Zetas, 
which is, you know, Texas and everything. And I came up with a bunch of characters and stuff like that. Bingo. So in a roundabout way, it got me into this. And Warhammer in a way, because it's tabletop stuff. But thank you, Yuri. Thank you. <laughs> yes, the Doki Doki helped inspire this. I can get into more detail, but I'm not going to. This is my book I just wrote that came out a couple uh, weeks ago, available on Amazon. I link in the description if you want to read it. Don't think you have to. But it's just kind of funny how it's like an off comment that someone makes and just looking at that like, huh. And you being a curious cat that you are has to go on out there to find out what they're talking about. And it's just like, oh yeah, that's a thing. So it's like that meme of the guy with all the stuff and just put my face there with the dokey thing and just like, yeah, this, this led to this. <laughs> but on one hand, that's another reason I'm happy about this because it's just kind of like it helped me get back into a passion with writing. I one of the right scripts was not getting anywhere with it because script writing is kind of soul crushing when you read about the industry and everything, how you can write everything and they completely change and not one word of what you write be on screen and they can completely rip up your story and write it the way they want to write it. And it's just kind of like, what's the point of even writing in some ways then? I mean, it, as long as in book form, you can write it what you want and it just be what you want to put out. As far as adaptations, that's another question. But I'm not trying to rip the script industry or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just telling you the truth of what, how things is, what people in the industry say it's like. So, all right, let's get on with Feb February, February Doki, shall we? I don't know if it's going to be an everyday thing, but we're going to get into it and we're going to play it throughout the time. All right, all right, enough of this music. Let's begin. Please enter your name. I'm going to enter in my name. Because that's how I roll. Isn't that right, Monica? Because I can go through that. Oh, when I initially played this game <laughs> for the video playthrough, I did a bunch of voices when I did this game. <laughs> I did Christopher Walken was Sayori. <laughs> let, me, let me try that for a little bit, but let's see what... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that this time. <laughs> Let's see what happens, shall we? All right. Hi! <laughs> no, I'm not. Hey! Uh, what, what's the button? I see an old girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Uh, oh, just enter. That girl, Sierra, my neighborhood and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but started in high school, which she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh, sigh, and idle in front of the crosswalk unless you already catch up with me. Ah, hi, Siori. It's nice to see you again. Ah, Siori. And the. I'm trying to learn the draw, so I know different eyes' expressions. Or like this. I know I haven't updated the uh, video update and drawing stuff in a while. I have to have a couple things like that. Just until I get in the uh, pro, uh, tablet thing in order to draw, I can't really do anything. I have done some Doki artwork if you want me to show that sometime. But anyway, <laughs> I overslept again. But I caught you. Oh gosh, I'm making her sound like Bill Clinton. But I caught you this time. Maybe only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Hey, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. <laughs> I'm back to Christopher Walken again. That's mean, Brian. Oh, I can't say it with that voice. That's mean, Brian. I'm not trying to be mean to you, sorry. I, I really, I, I'm not MC. But well, if people stare at you for acting weird, I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. This game just brings out so much in me. <laughs> I just think of so many things I can't talk about until we get those portions. But you did wait for me after all. Well, of course, silly bee head. I guess you have to be mean to me even if you want to. No, I don't. Whatever you say, Siori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled other students making their daily commute. By the way, Brandon, yes. 
Have you decided on a club to join yet? Uh, well, yeah, there's the Warhammer Club. I get to play 2,000 or 1,000 point armies and learning to play with the Raptors. I just played ra uh, Necrons and uh, Orcs as of this video or recording, and um, I got my butt whipped, but uh, I mean, uh, there's that, sorry. A club. I told you already, I'm not interested in joining a club, so I guess this all is just thinking in my head. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's also I did that one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. It's like the episode of Johnny Bravo and the little girls. What's her name? Susie? She kept bringing up stuff and she held on the phone recording information like you said you would do this. And John was like, all right, fine, I'll do it. But you give me those tips. So I likes to worry a little bit too much about me when I'm perfectly good time just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. You can do better than that, bro. Unless it's Spy Family. Spy Family is pretty good. I haven't technically... I don't have Crunchyroll or anything. I couldn't get it when I was overseas. Uh, I could probably get it now, actually. Oh, yeah, I can, watch, I can watch Spy Family. I've only read the first manga thing because I was curious, like, what is this all about? And i seen someone kind of uploaded the videos to YouTube, so I kind of watched it that way. But other than that, it's just kind of like, it is a very interesting show. So I like to worry a little bit too much about when I'm probably going to... Yeah, I read that. Uh-huh. I was talking about how worried about you might learn... You might not learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Uh, actually, I might be going to college for the first time this year. You know, I'm 32 years old. Your heaven is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I doubt it's like you're becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. If you don't know what a neat is, it's like not in, in, not in some... Oh, gosh. I can explain it. It's just basically, you know, you're not useful in any way. You're just kind of lazy and views. It's specifically kind of a Japanese term, which kind of places this kind of in Jap Japan, but... It's not really Japan, it's kind of like a fake Japan. This is, you could say it's a Japanese community in California or something, which is possible. Like a Chinatown thing, like Japanese. But Monica is not really Japanese, honestly. I feel like Monica is like a foreign exchange student. Because I don't really think of Monica as a Japanese name. Maybe it is, I don't know. But it's just kind of, it doesn't... Of course, Monica stands out to begin with. That's the whole point, purpose of Monica. I was going to say purpose of Monica. Why did I think of that accent? But uh, I didn't even think of Siari. Because of the blue eyes, I didn't even think, picture her as a. Dapade, I fall off of it. You trust me, right? Yes. Don't make me keep worrying about you. You make me worry about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it make you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you you try a little? Yeah, I guess I promised you that. Yay! I don't remember her having teeth. Of course, this thing, maybe they updated it, but I don't remember having teeth in the original now that I think of that. I just kind of see these now. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? She's not carefree. She cares so much about you. She cares so much about you. Do you not understand? More of that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess the seeing her words that much makes her mind at ease a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Take a shot for every single type of foreshadowing. And by shot, I mean Mountain Dew and Pepsi. I do not condone anything getting drunk. I don't even drink. Why do you, why do you even say that comment? It's just a meme joke. It's like, take a shot every time someone misses a basket in basketball or something. It's just like, stupid drinking games. Don't even strike that comment. Don't even do that, okay? Don't drink. I'm not for drinking. Uh, do, do what you want, but I'm not... I don't drink and I don't condone drinking. So, at least not in this context because of this game. Especially with the context of this game. I guess they're worried about me makes me want to make her mind ease a little bit, even if she does it. Okay. We have transferred to the school. The school day isn't ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Oh, yeah, by the way, I made an actual escape room based on this game, in the escape simulator game. <laughs> Fan made project. But I actually made in this. If you have the escape room simulator game available on Steam, you can play things in the workshop. I made one back in. Oh, gosh. Was it 2021? I think it was 2021. I spent a few weeks and I made an escape room uh, based off escape, based escape, escape similar room based off of Doki Doki Literature Club. I actually had voice actresses. I hired some people to do the poems. I even got uh, oh, Olivia, uh, Chloe. Oh gosh, I'm screwing up her name at the moment. But the one who made a uh, dub of like Siori's Lament, I actually asked her to voice Siori for the uh, portion I had her, and she did that, and I'm very grateful to that. And I 
I tried asking a few people to play Monica, including Vanna, and instead I got um, a, uh, must have been 2022, because it just came out in 2000, it was 2022. Had to be, right? I think so, right? Yeah, had to be. I don't know, whenever it was, but I had a, uh, I hired someone off Fiverr instead, because I couldn't get a hold of Vanna or anything, and she did great and everything, so I'm happy with it. I have thought about remastering the room, but it's been a couple of years, so. Had to be 2022 then, because the game came out at the end of 2021. In 2022. Either way, yeah, because it happened before my heat stroke thing, that's why I'm talking about the straw thing. And it was like one of the last times where I, you, because I had heat stroke on July 18th, or something happened heat related to me when I was at Fort Hood, Cavazos now. And that's why I can't talk right unless I'm biting down something. So that game, for me, even though I had other videos, but for some reason that room kind of highlights... Because I do speak in it, spoiler for something. <laughs> highlights the last time my voice was quote unquote normal. Or the no most normal my life has been at that time. So, um, back to this. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before we know it. After I pick up my things, start blanking at the log run out some motivation. Clubs. So I wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I'm interested to start out with the anime club. Hello? Sayori. Sorry, I must have come to classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. Thought I'd catch you going to the classroom, I just saw you sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. I so you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You're not the way for me, it's gonna make you late to your own club. Well, I think I need some confidence, so you thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you can come by my club. Sorry. Yeah? I don't remember her really having teeth here. I know I played the Plus version a long time ago when it came out, but it must have happened like... I just didn't notice the teeth thing compared to the first game. I think the initial thing, I don't think she had teeth there. I'd have to look it up. It might have been a change they made for the Plus version. I just don't recall her having teeth. Or if it is, I'm just not noticing it till now, but I don't know. Either way. There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. She was vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had an interest in literature. In fact, 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the t title of vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. <laughs> That's the other reason this game is important, because literature. I've added to the literature conversation. And I'm reading literature. I have this I'm reading at night, or vice versa, this I'm reading at night. Hobbit and Surprised by Joy. Surprised by Joy by C.S. Lewis and Hobbit by Tolkien. I think I read Hobbit once as a kid, but now I, um, I asked for it at Christmas and I got it. I got the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings collection. That's similar and stuff like that, just the Lord of the Rings collection, so it's going to be good to read. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made me cupcakes and everything. I know it's pronounced Natsuki. I like saying Natsuki. Okay, that's me. Eh <laughs> Don't make me promises you can't keep. I can't tell the series really much of Airhead or she's coming and planned all this out. Now this I do remember there was teeth. That for sure. So I guess it's just Mandela effect or something. And a long sigh. <sighs> Trying to think of the beast. <laughs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay, let's go! The little hop, that's so cute. Anyway. I miss I miss this game. <laughs> I've yet to delete this game from my computer. I didn't just reinstall it or anything. It's always on my main screen with everything because I just don't feel like I could just... I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> If that makes any sense, because I could always come back and plop this and play this again for any time I want to. I don't know, besides, besides Final Fantasy VII, this is probably the most important game to me. I mean, it's just like influential, I guess in some ways. Besides Final Fantasy VII, this would be the game. Seeing Seven played by my brother as a kid, and then this game would be the next thing next to it, so... Thus, today I marked my soul. I sold my soul for a cupcake. Please don't do that. Don't sell your soul for anything. Your soul is precious, except to the Lord. 
the Lord brought us for a price and everything. I dejectedly follow Siori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Siori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I thought of the stuff thing. Fresh meat is here. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. I'm not going to say it because I don't curse. I'm especially not going to say it. But go look up what the uh, fresh meat stuff from GT Live said. With that mod. They played a mod where they said other stuff, but yeah. Uh, for some reason, that sticks out my head every time this comes up now. It was like, thanks, Steph. Thanks a lot. Everyone, the new member's here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Yeah, I glanced around the room. Welcome. Hi, Yuri. You're the reason why I wrote a book. Or I started getting back in the writing because of you. I wrote a fantasy book. Just for you, something you would like, Yuri! Gosh. How much influence has this stuff had on me? Like, honestly. You think you know, and then you don't. Welcome to the Literature Club, it's a pleasure to meet you. Sarah, you always nice says, 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 that fag says nice things about you. Comment stupid stuff. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Why is she blushing? Oh, I am blocking Yuri's face. <laughs> ah, Brenna, what a nice surprise. Now, I do remember Monica having teeth. Why are they all blushing? I just realized, were they always blushing? I don't know why Yuri would be blushing. Well, Yuri's shy. Natsuki, I don't think she'd be blushing. Eh, doesn't matter. Ah, Brenna, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Oh. Really? You know, if you can go to anime club, you can see cute girls in the thing. I'll bring this up. I, I was going to look up Fairy Tale. And there was a couple episodes on YouTube to watch. The main reason I was trying to look up Fairy Tale is because of Sharon Millet. I like her voice because I associate her with uh, Elia and Ruby, but mostly as Red Blood Cell and Cells at Work. I really like that show. I haven't seen the black version yet. But uh, I was going to look up the fairy tale thing and I saw all the stuff and I'm like, eh, I'm not sure I can get into this, but there's clips of other episodes online and I'm just like, ah, that's a bit much with the uh, fan service stuff. And I was like, no, I'm not going to watch that. So, you being interested in the anime would fit your thing, you alternate weirdo random thing. Now over here is Japanese and everything, but other times things are in English, so go figure. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. There's an actual dub that someone made of the entire game, and I like the voices they did for that. I actually tried to get someone from that to voice in my room too, but... I did, it didn't work out, whatever. And a couple of other options, they just couldn't do it. And I was like, oh, okay. So, but it was still good. My actress from Fiverr, she did great. So, Natsuki, hmm. Who's Sarato? His parent name is Natsuki or Natsuki. Can I shrink a little bit more? No, I can't. I can't. There's one I just don't recognize. Here, I could do it right here. Yeah, but then I'm blocking, then I'm blocking her. I'll just keep it there. This small figure looks like a first-year student. There, she's not. They're all 18. She's the one who made cupcakes, according to Siori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Siori says it quietly in my ear and turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, it's Nasuki. You always feel the energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri appears completely more mature and timid and seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Siori and Natsuki. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. It sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? Oh, yes. We know Monica. We... Absolutely no, Monica, you beautiful beard thing. <laughs> no, seriously, I have that screenshot of the thing at the end. Or it says, hi again, Brandon. I'm like, hi. You... Anytime that came up on my screen, I'm just like, hi again, beautiful beard. <laughs> for some reason, I associate that with Monica. I don't curse, but for some reason, that's what I think. Although I can't, since the... Sayorma update thing on my computer. I haven't been able to change my background, which is kind of weird. I'm trying to fix that. Or trying to get it to work where it does, but eh. Anyway, that's right. Yeah, that's right. 
It's great to see you again, Brandon. Sure is. Marco smiles sweetly. Why this pose? I have to ask, why is this pose? I still don't understand this pose. You're doing each other well. Well, we rarely talk, but we are in the same year, class last year. Monica was probably the most popular grown class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Completely out of my league, cliche. So having her smile at me feels a little... Oh yeah, how many likes are in this? I remember when I did the side stories, I did a like counter thing. Like, how many times it said like, ding. Said like, ding. Said like, ding. <laughs> I don't think that is in this. I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> Come sit down, Brian. We made room for the two. You're next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Yes, I'll take some tea. I'm going to make tea tonight. I still can't. I'm going to go make some tea. You know what? I'm going to go make tea right now. Very right back. A few moments later. Yes, I actually got tea. You thought I was joking. <laughs> no, I wasn't joking. I was serious. I was going to make tea tonight and I absolutely forgot about it. This is a cranberry winter frost tea or something like that. It's not one of mine. I think it's, or it might be. I don't know. It's been a while since I've had some tea and I've been wanting to have tea for a while. So I got tea in my Ruby Falls mug. <laughs> All right, back to this. How about I make some tea as well? Thank you, Yuri. I actually took some. Across a few desks arranged to form a table. As Yuri mentioned, it's waiting so that there's space next, one space Monica and one next to Yuri. So I'm rubbing elbows with both. As soon as Yuri walks out of the corner of the room, and Suki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. You mean this closet back there? So I'll grab to take a seat next to Siori. That's Suki probably marched back to the table tray in hand. Okay, you ready? Ta da! Oh, I went ahead. See, I, I know the game. And so you just pull off the tray. There's a dozen white, fluffy. A dozen. Oh, there's a dozen? I thought. I thought there was only six. There's a dozen? Okay. Okay, maybe I don't try to fit again. Fully cut cakes are going to look like little cats. Whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Nasuki. I'm not covering her up. Eh, well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sorry, guys, one first, and Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sorry, talks through my phone already has managed to get icing. <sighs> Sorry, Monica. I, I gotta sacrifice a Monica, I'm sorry. I don't, I mean, I can cover up Nasuki, that's not a, <laughs> and I'm just here <laughs> No, I'm sorry, I just gotta be right here. I can't make the thing even smaller. Turn on the cupcakes, look at the best angle to bite. I wish I could move this in different, I don't know. Nasuki is quiet. I can't help but notice this thing glance in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What, why are you thinking of me? It's not like, haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. I thought you technically did. Siori said, well, maybe, but not for you, you, you know, you, dummy. But not for you, you know, you, you, dummy. Maybe I'll make Natsuki Christopher walk in this play. <laughs> that might be what I do. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. He returns to the table carrying a tea set. Every place is a tea. You know what? I'm gonna have tea every single time I play this game throughout the Feberdoki. How about that? Every place is a teacup in front of us and before I sing us down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Can't vouch for that! Oh, yeah, this book also speaks about tea. <laughs> Bill Bo Baggins. All right. Ah, I guess. I had no that you get yourself intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Aren't you all trying to impress me? Aren't you all? Eh, that's not it. A little hop. Insulted, Yuri looks away. Why is she insulted? I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a passer for me. At least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raised an eyebrow, then smiles at me. Looks like she has both eyebrows raised. So what made you consider the literature club? If he's bluntly honest, what 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 makes him consider it besides the easy answer, Siori, what's making him really honest? Girls! That's girls, that's the answer. So what made you the literature club? 
Um, oh yeah, last time I made Monica sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> um, I was afraid of this question. Sometimes I shouldn't tell Monica I was practically drag here by Siori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Siori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay! Don't be embarrassed! <laughs> the return of Monica Schwarzenegger. <laughs> uh, maybe! Monica Schwarzenegger? Eh. I keep hedgehog face. Right. Make sure you well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make to make the fun club exciting and fun for everyone. Dal Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could be a board member for any of the other major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> that was actually really good. Well well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Which, aren't you going to bring up the festival which is about preparing for an event? I much rather that take something I mostly enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. We're, we're halfway there. Wait, that's not... No, Dream On. That's what I'm thinking of. Dream On! Dream until the trees come true! Monica really is a great leader. I haven't... I need... I need a... What do I... I need a voice for Siori. What's the voice I should do for Siori? Until stuff gets serious. Uh, I think I'm going to do Christopher Walken as Natsuki. Um, so, she's not Christopher Walken this time. Who is she? I can make her sound like Shaggy! <laughs> Kind of. For some reason, the past few weeks, I've been kind of been able to do a sh kind of a shaggy voice, man. That sounded horrible. Monica, Monica really is a great leader. No, I'm not gonna do that. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't any more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Yeah, I gotta do our Schwarzenegger for a while. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much important. I just mentioned preparing for events. You said you have an issue with that, and now you're talking about that. I'm confident that we will grow the club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. <laughs> the circus is supposed to walk in this time. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls are interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they're also delighted by their new club member joining. But I still don't really know I can keep with our level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Brenda, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh... Actually, I just mostly read biblical things that interest me. I, if you really want to know what I like reading, I have things for you here that I can tell you what I like reading. I have Dune. I have uh, Jurassic Park. Very different from the movie. Go read it. I have... Uh, come here. I have An Eye for Glory. Kind of a Civil War book. I have... Um, Mere Christianity, C.S. Lewis. If, if ever I want to feel like I'm smart, I just read that book and I realize I am very dumb. One of my favorite books ever, Anna Green Gables. I mean, heck. I have an Anna Green Gables puzzle picture wall that I'm working on from that anime thing, speaking of anime, that was made back in the thing. That's what these images are from. Seemingly they make a lot of puzzles and stuff. It's popular, I guess, in Korea and overseas. That's what I've been getting those from. And that middle image is like, I'm so glad I live in a world where there's Octobers because fall is my favorite season and I had to be born in October. It's from the Anna Green Gables book. My family kept me that for my birthday one year. So, uh, yes. Uh, th th there's some books I have. This is not even all my books because they're in storage right now. And I'm still working on, you know, getting things together and stuff. Not to mention, I wrote this, which, you know, is... An achievement, start of a series, and everything, so, I mean, there's that. I just found this bookmark in my Jurassic Park book, and I don't remember it being there. 
Okay. All right, well, uh, <laughs> considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Kind of true, because being in the army. Manga. Like, <laughs> I am not required to myself have joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she's the one recent, but keeps quiet. The only thing manga I think I've ever read is like, again, I picked up that Spy Family novel at the Barnes & Noble and Clean just to kind of read through it, just to see what Spy Family was kind of was. It was the first one. It's the only one available because considering the Spy Family was extremely big when it came out. I mean, it still is, but I just mean, when, initially when it came out, everyone was going all over Spy Family, Spy Family. I'm just like, what is Spy Family? So, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking of Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri takes the rim of her teacup with her finger. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this. Or she's... Is she doing the get out thing? That I see in those videos is kind of very ASMR-ish. Am I going to sink through the floor with this? I shouldn't joke like that. A lot of jokes I read on the internet and comments and everything, and it has an effect on... It does sometimes, I know, have an effect on me when I comment stuff, and I don't like comments, so I apologize for that. It's not, it's not something to me making jokes out of concerning it. Alright, my favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. It's sci-fi. Sci-fi is just basically space fantasy. Don't argue with me, it is. It absolutely is. <laughs> fantasy is just space sci-fi. Or is this medieval sci-fi, vice versa? It is. It's exactly kind of the same type of thing when I think about it in some ways. I'm like, when I thought of that, I even have a title of a video titled that. With Yuri as the thumbnail. So I was like, yeah, that's what that's from. <laughs> All right. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid at the moment I walked in, but it's always by the way her eyes light up. She finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stars' deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. It's amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Jurassic Park is a horror book. Don't believe me? Read the first uh, few pages. Go ahead, I dare you. And get to Nedry's death. That's... <laughs> movie is almost comical. The book is not. <laughs> ah, I've read a horror book once. I desperately grasped that something I can relate to at the minimal level. Yeah, like Edgar Allan Poe's Telltale Heart? Or something? The only horror I think straight up that I've probably read is Jurassic Park. I mean, it's not horror, but I mean... I don't see when it comes like, uh, war stuff. I mean, war things and history. I have, like, Stand with Christ. Extreme devotion, you know, the horror of what persecuted Christians have gone through. Heck, if I want, uh, since I got into Warhammer, just look at the Warhammer universe, see what horror is there. Gosh, the whole entire freaking thing is that. At this rate, Yuri might be having a conversation with a rock. I don't have a rock in here. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. Oh, cute hedgehog face. How you done? With someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Let me move myself out of here. Ah. My mouse doesn't click well. Surreal horror is often stressed about changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Nasuki's eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's why I usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Nasuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of paper, scrap paper, left behind the last club meeting. I look like you're working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give That Back. Fine, fine. Cute hedgehog face. Hey, 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 your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. She always slides up behind the suki and puts her hands on her shoulders. There's no way I can avoid it. I'm not cute. The angry face. I don't think Yuri makes that face, does she? Yuri, I don't think, makes that face. I don't think Monica does either. Suki, you write your own poems? Oh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Oh, I'm reading as Christopher Walken. I'm sorry. Suki, averts her eyes. You won't like them. And, ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. 
understand how Ninsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers, explain your vulnerabilities, and share the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe share some of your work and say, example, not Ninsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Oh yeah, I'm just getting involved in the thing. Uh, doing. I guess the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. Well, I'll sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Huh? I'm seeing your Yuri look quizzically, Monica. Let's all go home and write the poem of our own. Next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, when everyone is even. Um, technically, you owe everyone a poem because you, you, you read Natsuki's. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think we help us get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Brandon? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back on the original talking between the club, blank conform has been on my mind the entire time. Even if it's not the fact that they're girls! I never said I would join this club. Sir may convince me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose train of thought. Asuki looks at me angrily. Yuri looks at me like, really? You just came here for what now? Siori looks hurt. Monica looks hurt. I lose my train of thought. All four of us stare back at me, dejected eyes. Though Yuri's more quizzical and just like, who are you? Why did you come by? Why did you waste my time speaking to you or anything? And Monica looks really sad and hurt. I feel, I feel more sad with Monica's face and Siori. Mostly Monica, because she's faced straight at me, just like, huh? But, I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. Right in. Sorry, Nisuki. You all, I actually would do this in this situation if someone was in the club thing like this. It, unless it was something far out there, I would join a literature club if it was this kind of situation. Not because it's girls, because it's just like, I don't want to make my friends sad. <laughs> I'm defenseless against these girls. How much do I clear a decision when it's like this? <sighs> if it's supposed to writing, if writing poems, the person you pay, pay your, in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, <sighs> teenage boys. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. What about I? The girls all light up and they all jump up on their tippy toes because they all jump up with excitement. Like, you're going to join? Yay! I'm so happy. Sorry, wraps around and jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really, oh yeah, if you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super peed off. But that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. <laughs> that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Now I will say my the playthrough I first did when I did this game, I actually made poems. I don't have a minute around anymore, but I actually made poems. And I'm going to do that again. Every time I select words, I'm actually going to make a poem out of it. Yes, I'm serious. Because why not? That I feel that's fair. And considering the poems are just random garbled words, when do I know what they're reading or anything like that? So I'm going to actually make a poem and make it make sense for whatever girl I'm going to. Monica should have had a root. But that's the point of the game, though, isn't it? So, all right. Well, that's all for this episode. It's late, and I'm going to go to bed so uh you're probably wondering well we didn't need to know just so you see you next time i'm just letting you know what time i'm at and everything and how i kind of did this even though i thought i was gonna wait till the next day but other than that i didn't so thank you for watching i'm going to save you see me saving i know this is the plus version but it's been a long time since I don't know <laughs> I was trying to think like wait a minute I don't recall that being a uh, thing anyway hope you see you tomorrow or whenever next day for the next Febradoki begins so, see you next time goodbye